Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alamin wa salatu wassalamu ala rasulihil karim amma ba'd Brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome back to Islam Protection once again uh, As you know we've been discussing this issue of fadak for quite a number of videos now Alhamdulillah and we've cleared many many different issues regarding this from different different angles and this is one more angle that I'd like to look at this video from and that is uh, this verse of uh, verse 26 of Surah Bani Israel now obviously I've mentioned the Shia interpretation which is uh, an interpretation of a very very small minority of Shias and I've mentioned also that uh, the majority of Shia and their interpretation actually goes in favor of the Sunni stance and Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala but just for argument's sake for a moment if we are to take if we just take that uh, interpretation and understanding of this verse 26 of this minority of a Shia even then Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha she still does not remain uh, restricted to this verse what is their understanding those Shia, the small minority of Shia, say that the words Dhal Qurba that give due right to the relatives. They say that the word relatives, it refers to Fatima radiallahu anha. And they say that the words due right, it refers to the orchard of Fadr. Now, if we do take this, like I said, even then, this uh, restrict, uh, this uh, instruction of giving the due right still does not uh, remains restricted to Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha rather this instruction of giving due right it extends to the next words which are the poor people and then words after that which are Ibn al-Sabil the travelers so uh, the verse actually goes like this give further to the relatives i.e. according to their understanding Fatima and give it to the poor people and also give the due right to the travelers now, if we're to take this understanding, like I said, Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha does not stand alone in regards to the issue of Fadak. Rather, she will have to share the orchard of Fadak to the travelers and the poor people. Now, there's only one problem that lies in, well, of the many problems that I've mentioned, but there's also another problem which lies in this understanding is that these two words, travelers and poor people, are very generic and they are very general words. And they include every single poor person and every single traveler in the world. So now to distribute this land to every poor person and every traveler in the world, you know, in sections, then that is some asking, you know, for the impossible. Which plot of land, which part of the land and how much are you going to give to which traveler and which poor person in the world? There's millions and millions of travelers in the world. There's millions and millions of poor people in the world. How is it even possible? To actually literally distribute the land in sections to these poor people so the only way to actually distribute this land equally and fairly and with the justice is that this land the crops that come from there or the wells the vegetation the fruit whatever comes from that wells the, uh, uh, that land what we do is we actually distribute that to the poor people and if it's done in such a manner then this will be done fairly it will be done justly that is the best way is the most appropriate way rather i'd say is actually the only way to distribute that land if we were to distribute it to the poor people and the um the travelers and fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. and if we look brothers and sisters this is exactly what abu Bakr siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anha did that he would distribute the, the the wealth from this place to fatima the family of fatima the ahli bayt he would give to the travelers he would give to the poor he would give to the widows he would give to the orphans he would give 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 and never ever take anything himself so like i said even if we take this interpretation which is a, a minority of shia even then it falls into abu bakr radiallahu ta'ala in his favor and it doesn't fall into fatima radiallahu ta'ala in his favor so like i said the we've got a consensus from the ahlu sunnah that this verse it doesn't refer to fadak nor does it refer to fatima and like i said there is a majority of shia who uh, are opining that it hasn't got anything to do with fadak it hasn't got anything to do with fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha it's this small little minority who are doing it out of the asub and hatred for abu bakr but i like i said even if we take their interpretation interpretation it still goes in favor of abu bakr radiallahu ta'ala anho not in favor of fatima because there is no way to actually 
physically distribute the land rather the only way uh, that can be done is that we distribute the wealth and the, the produce of that land and this is exactly what Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala did so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand this issue of fadr and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to refrain from using such issues to tarnish the splendor and the image of who Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have talked good about. Wa akhir da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.